Hi, I'm Alex from ETC and today we'll be showing you how to correctly assemble the tow body. In the box you'll find two sections of the tow body tow bar, three packets of parts for the coupler bracket, receiver bracket and fork bracket. There is also an instruction manual. You will need a 5mm hex key, a 13mm spanner and any tools needed to loosen the rear wheel of your bike. First we'll attach the storage bracket. Remove the quick release or nut from the left side of the rear wheel's axle. Place the storage bracket over the rear wheel's axle and tighten the quick release or nut. Next, we install the coupler block. Present both parts of the block to the adult bike seat post and loosely tighten the bolts. Ensure bolts are tightened evenly and there is equal gap at each bolt location. To install the tow bar, first remove the coupler block axle. Place the coupler end of the inner tow bar in the coupler block. Reinstall the coupler block axle and tighten. Slide the outer tow bar over the inner and align with the hole closest to the seat tube. Push the lock pin through the hole and fasten the spring clip. Swing the tow bar towards the storage bracket. Clip the tow bar in place with the fastener. Adjust the coupler block up or down to ensure the tow bar fits the storage bracket correctly. When the tow bar is correctly stowed, do the final tighten on the coupler block bolts and add the protective plastic caps. Next, we install the receiver assembly to the child's bike. Two U-shaped bolts sit around the head tube. The configuration is determined by the design of the child's bike. Place the U-bolts in the correct position for the design of the child's bike and slide the anchor clamps into place. Place the two retainer plates in position over the U-bolts. With the receiver plate positioned as shown, slide it onto the U-bolts. Add washers and lock nuts to the U-bolts and loosely tighten. Protective plastic caps are added. Check the receiver bracket is sitting parallel to the head tube of the child's bike and that the lock nuts are evenly tightened. When happy it's aligned correctly, do the final tighten on the lock nuts. To attach the fork bracket to the child's bike, screw the ball socket onto the bracket as shown. Mount the two halves of the bracket to the fork. leaving the lock nut screws loose for now. Depending on the size of your child's bike, you want to set the tow body to one of two positions. Child bikes with the wheel size of 16 to 20 inches use the first positioning hole. Wheel sizes of 12 to 16 inches use the second positioning hole. Push the lock pin through the hole and fasten the spring clip as before. Remove the nut from the quick release axle. Slide the tow body over the receiver bracket and slide the quick release axle into place. Tighten the quick release nut and lever. Unclip the stabilizing rod and bring it down to the fork bracket on the child's bike. Adjust the height of the fork bracket up or down as necessary to allow the stabilizing rod to snap into place. Tighten the bolts on the fork bracket when everything is aligned. Once connected, the front wheel of a child's bike should be 8 to 15 centimetres off the ground. Now you're ready to ride, smile and explore together with your child. We hope you find this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. We'll see you soon.